How early should orthodontic treatment start? Well, essentially we have to consider what is wrong and it actually starts with the growth of a child. Many people start developing crooked teeth when their first permanent teeth come in at the age of six. And some children actually have crooked teeth in the baby dentition. Now we have to remember that the baby teeth are about two-thirds of the size of the permanent teeth. And if there isn't room for them, you are going to have quite severe problems when the permanent teeth come in. Equally, if at the age of six there are not quite big spaces between the teeth, then the next teeth, which erupt between the age of six and seven in the front, are all going to be crowded. Once they're crowded, it's quite difficult to straighten them. It's an example of where prevention is often better than cure. And most orthodontists wait until the child has almost stopped growing at the age of 13 or 14, when it is much easier to see how much space there is to fit all the teeth in. But of course, by then, it's too late to alter the shape of the jaw. Orthotropists prefer to make room for the teeth by encouraging growth of the jaw while the child is young. So it is truly a preventive treatment rather than a curing treatment. It does unfortunately mean that treatment lasts longer, but I think I can say that the results are likely to be far better if you can correct the shape of the bones while the child is young rather than wait till older, then you can only straighten the teeth and if there isn't room, you've got to take some teeth out. Normally, if you've gained the correct growth, there'll be plenty of room for the teeth anyway when they're older. But we have to remember that for prevention, the diagnosis needs to be made by the age of five or six if possible, and the treatment certainly should start before the age of eight.